Well, the two tools I always carry in the M37 are this German entrenching tool, because then you've got the pick and the shovel, you know, and a matic kind of thing, it works well. And this little Swiss hatchet, which is really, you know, it's a very heavy headed thing. So it kind of works like an axe. But they're really, they're more of a, uh, a tool to carry on your person than they are, you know, a vehicle rescue tool. Well, I had mentioned I'm kind of a, a sucker for new old stock surplus. And so I found another optional deal for the M37. And it is what originally would have came on here. This has actually got the bolts, holes drilled for it in the end gate. It goes on the outside of the end gate. But it's designed to hold a full size axe. And there's a, yeah, everything has got a strap that holds it in place. You know, everything is kind of cradled in there. There's a pick mattock that the head goes here and the handle lays in here. And I've got that ordered, that'll be here shortly. And then it carries a shovel that actually goes under here. Everything's very tight fitting, but it's made to clamp and then there's one strap that holds it in place. <coughs> but this shovel is too long. They had a special odd sized shovel. Uh, all the tools that they used were that AM's True Temper. What I actually, what I did is I ordered another handle and I've got an old shovel that I will put the new handle in that'll shorten me up a little bit and get me into the position. You know, I've got a lot of this sort of thing laying around because a lot of times at farm auctions you pick up boxes or piles of, of broken tools. So it's just a matter of putting a handle on and, and then it'll be the right length. So the pick is a standard 36 inch long and the head is like I say a mattock on one end but then the wide end goes under an arrow here. Everything straps together and stays on your end gate. You know on the outside of the end gate. But like I say that's what originally would have had one on. You can see it's got the bolt holes for it yet. So it'll be an easy matter of putting it back there. Yeah, here's a head that I got. At you know, some auction sale came in a pile of junk. I've never even looked to see what this one is. But whenever I get a deal on a handle, I've usually got something I can put it on. But that's gonna be, you know, I'll have to wait till the new handle gets here and the pickaxe one. And then I will be stripping these down and pine tarring them. And this one has just got one rivet that holds it in, so that should be fairly easy. And this one is two rivets, an extra long shank, extra heavy shovel, but it, it's like I say, it's not the right length. But they were unusual length, so it's got to be no more than 36 inches. And this is a little bit more. But this is a good shovel anyway. So I'll be in business. But it is called the Pioneer Rack. And it came on uh, quite a few different military vehicles. They tended to move them around from one vehicle to another even. But I'll have to round up some bolts. Get that bolted on. And get them tools pine tarred. And I'll be in business. <laughs>